it's your girl sin welcome back to my channel this is going to be all of the zodiac signs yes we're going to do all of the zodiac signs in one video if you do like this format please let me know down in the comment section and also like this video i'm trying it differently instead of spreading them out um i will be time stamp time <laughs> stamping them myself so it will be down below um, in the comment section or in the description box. So a few disclaimers going in before your readings, Zodiacs. Um, if you'd like to book a full reading with me, um, I will leave it down in the description box. I will not be taking any clients until October 9th. So from here to October 9th, I will not be taking any clients. So please do book in advance because October is also filling up quickly as well. Um, I do have an online store if you do want to shop with me as well. <clears throat> I sell uh, magical kits. I sell smudge sticks. I sell affirmation decks. I sell this personal deck over on my website as well and candles as well. Um, so if you do want to shop with me, that'll be linked down below. Also, I do have a Patreon. If you do want to join the click the tribe over there, we do spells and rituals mainly focusing on self-love, money, and protection. Um, and I do do my honey jars over on that platform. And you do see these videos first over on Patreon. So if you do want to see the Zodiac readings first, please go over to that platform. Um, so let's get into it. The first sign that is up is going to be Aries. Okay, Aries, we have the Four of Wands, the Emperor, and the Four of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. So Aries, what I'm seeing for you in the month of September 2022, or whenever you watch this video, I do feel like someone is wanting to fight for a relationship. Um, I do also feel like someone is wanting to put in some some more time. This can also be like someone um, asking for a higher level of commitment. So there can be someone that is wanting you to maybe possibly be their fiance, be their girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is, um, or some it's it's some form of higher level of commitment. Uh, I do feel like someone may be possibly trying to pressure someone into kind of going in that direction as well. Like even if it's just giving like subtle hints, uh, I feel like someone is just very determined and they're very passionate and they feel very persistent at either, I want to say, Lord Jesus, I said trap. <laughs> so anyway, I would try, try to trap you. Um, but I feel like someone is just like, look, we need to get this done now. So I do feel like someone is possibly in a rush to commit or someone is very passionate about committing and they're wanting your attention and they're wanting to kind of get this commitment and this ball on, get the ball, the ball on a roll. I think that's how it goes. Um, I also feel like someone is also, they might decline that offer um, because I do feel like someone is not interested. Um, this can also be someone that has been like either stalking you or trying to get your attention that you're not really interested in. Um, this can be a coworker. This can be a friend of a friend. Um, this can be someone that you you know randomly met. But I'm or it doesn't have to be that. But I just feel like someone is just like not interested, and I do feel like someone feels that they just want to be left alone. Um, either you're going to turn them down or you're going to simply ignore them or act, act as if they don't exist. Um, and I do also feel that you guys are just wanting to just isolate yourself right now for this time being. Um, you guys are not wanting to be bothered. Um, and I do feel like you guys are trying to take this space to kind of figure out exactly what you feel like you feel that you need i always tell my clients a need is long term a want is short term so i do feel like you guys are trying to figure out what you want long term long ugh, long term excuse me guys it's early in the morning um to have my coffee right now <laughs> um i feel like you guys are wanting to know what 
you need long term and I do feel like a lot of you have been focusing on your finances um, it could be because you know it could be the only thing that's that you can feel like you can control um, it may also feel like something that is very tangible to you so anything that is tangible to you that you feel like you have easy access to I feel like you're putting more time and attention into that because it's it's you can touch feel smell it it's it's tangible um you can't control how someone feels about you, you can't control how someone treats you. you can't control how someone courts you. you can't control how someone uh you know feet like how they they care for you but you can control your money you can control your bag you can you can control what what you eat you can control where you go you can control where you, which which place or person you give your energy to so i feel like that is what you guys are mainly focusing on for the time being so let's get into taurus that was for aries all right so taurus i mean i'm sorry aries not so bad so let's look into taurus all right taurus but it's gonna be a long video so y'all ride it with me Okay, at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So for Taurus, we have the High Priestess, we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Five of Wands. Okay, ugh, Taurus. Okay, so I feel like Taurus, the universe is blessing you. I feel like the universe is also giving you something that you may have wanted. So it's a fresh start. It could be like a fresh start at a new job. It could be a fresh start in a relationship. It could just be a fresh start in life. But I feel like <clears throat> either there's people around you that you are needing to let go or emotionally purge or you just remove out of your life so that you can receive these blessings. Or this could be you doing your own self-sabotaging so you don't need anybody else to help self -sabotage sabotage yourself um i feel like a lot of you are going through a lot of power struggles i feel like a lot of you have been fighting the flow at which life has been dealt for you meaning that it was when something new something new or something passionate or something that you really want comes into your life you self you self-sabotage it you either make excuses as for why you're not going after what it is that you feel like you deserve you desire or you feel like you deserve or what it could be is that when something new or fresh comes into your life you kind of panic it could kind of be like a flight or run type of response when it comes to either your love life when it comes to your um your commitments um when it comes to your work it could be anything but i just feel like a lot of you are self-sabotaging yourself and a little bit of you are kind of more so worried about other people's opinions or validation um the high priestess is here so it says that you know exactly what you need to do but sometimes again you can be your own blockage which can be very hard because you have nobody to blame for yourself and that in itself is a hard pill to swallow so i feel like you guys might be looking for other people as distractions or excuses to why you're not achieving the things that you want to achieve but ultimately you are your blockage um i do also feel that um there if you're in a relationship I do also feel like someone is cheating or having some sort of an affair, so be mindful of that and pay attention to the red flags. I do also feel that there is also someone who's also thinking about having an affair or cheating. Um, you might get this uh, clue or message or warning before it happens during your dreams. So I am seeing a lot of daydreaming or a lot of dreaming. Um, and I do also feel like there is something about you having to let go of a relationship in order for blessings or a new reset could come into your life. A new cycle can come into your life. So there is something about like the universe wanting to give you something new and wanting to give you something fresh and wanting to kind of breathe life into you. But they're not going to do that or your guides are not going to do that until they feel like you have emotionally purged or you have physically, mentally, spiritually let go of things that you know are no good for you because a lot of you might be holding on to people it might be because of history a lot of you people a lot of you people i'm sorry i didn't mean to not talk to y'all like that <laughs> a lot of people i should say 
hold on to people hold on to people because of familiar familiarity um I also feel like people are holding on to people because of history. You could be holding on to something that you know is no good for you, but you know that it's comfortable. And I feel like, and it doesn't have to be just love. It could be your work. Like maybe you're just, you you know, you hate your job, but you've been there for so many years. You're just like, I must well just kind of like die on this hill. So I feel like it's like you having to kind of like get out of your way so that new fresh energy energy or, or, or someone new either if you're, if you're looking for love to come into your life. Um, but I feel like you are stopping yourself. I mean, I don't want to like you, 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 you. But yeah, you know, a little bit of you, 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 you. Like, get out of your way. If you simply get out of your way, Taurus, like, and get out of your head too. Um, because I feel like there's a lot of pressure that you're feeling from people in your life. Like, you have to be this. You have to do that. You have to achieve that. You have to be this. The token. Like, you have to be this. And once you get that out of your mindset and out of your mind frame, I do feel like you will excel. All right, Taurus. We got a little work to do in September, but I'm looking very optimistic for October. All right, so let's get into Geminis. I'm a Gemini, so talk to me nice. <laughs> talk to me nice, guys. Uh, okay, let's do Gemini. Again, you guys, if you do, guys, if you guys, oh my God, I can talk today. I have my coffee. If you guys like this format, um, please like this video, leave it in the comment section. Uh, let's see, okay, the tower card tried to come out, so that means that big changes are happening. Huge transformation coming in, and there might be some sort of news or some sort of message that comes out of the blue unexpectedly. So let's, let's, let's look into Gemini. Gemini came out really quickly at the bottom of the deck is the hermit card so <sighs> Gemini. okay so we have the seven of pentacles we have the fool we have the ace of pentacles okay so Gemini is what I'm getting for you is that um, I just heard the song by Rihanna. Bitch, better have my money. <laughs> I'm mad at it. I feel like a lot of you are really focused on your finances. Oh, I'm also getting a song. Um, I'm from Florida, so I'm getting a song by Plies called Plenty Money. I got plenty money. If you're from Florida, you know. <laughs> you know. I mean, even if you're not from Florida, but Plies, like, Plenty Money money mantra daily money mantra like it's just, it's it's a it's a vibe every time it's on my radio like please go listen to plus money money it's a daily money ma like mantra it's an affirmation okay you know um what i'm seeing is that you guys are really focused on your finances i do also feel like there's going to be some some sort of like unexpected financial opportunity coming into your life now this is going to take time if you are going through some sort of um instability with your finances um it is saying that it's temporary because i do feel like you are maybe possibly coming up with some sort of new ideas being a little bit more creative trying to come up with additional sources of income so i do feel like you're trying to kind of like either use your creativity use your ment your mental um capacity or this may be like you doing some sort of research or this is like you kind of like switching things up in order well it could be switching or shaking things up so that you can kind of generate or create some sort of buzz and to also generate some sort of uh finances through that buzz so i don't know if you guys are working through social media if you're an influencer if you're in tech um, if you are um, in an online business, e-commerce, um, I don't know what it is, but I do feel like a lot of you are kind of like trying to kind of like shake things up a little bit so that you can kind of see what works for you. Um, I do also feel like out of the blue that there is going to be some sort of um, opportunity coming in, like I said before. Um, I do also feel that um, a lot of you have been doing some sort of meditation. Um, you guys had a lot. I'm not gonna. I'm not saying you guys are lazy, but you guys have been doing a lot of resting. Maybe this is kind of your space, Gemini, where it was time for you to kind of just rest and to kind of more so um, be still right now. Uh, maybe you turned up a little bit in the summer, or maybe you, some of you were kind of like 
very still and very like focused on your finances during the summer i know like summertime is supposed to be like turn up time but a lot of you took that time or opportunity to kind of really delve deeply into your work which is going to pay off um, so if you've been very like studious, if you've been really putting a time and you've also been putting a lot of energy um, into something, I do feel like your creative efforts is being supported by the universe. Now, I also feel like there's an opportunity coming in for you. It may be, um, and this may be more, this is more so love. There is um, an opportunity coming in from an earth sign. This earth sign may have money or they are wealthy or they're, and it doesn't mean to, and rich can be anything, rich in spirit, rich in, you know, rich in pockets. <laughs> <laughs> but someone is coming towards you is rich um maybe their 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 taste for food is very rich or maybe they like they have an expensive taste um but i feel like someone who who's coming into your life that may be either likes to find things in life or this may be someone that is going to come in to spoil you um so you go, okay go ahead jimmy's i'm a gemini too so i am claiming this <laughs> um but i do feel that um someone is coming into your life to kind of shake things up um there is a new cycle coming into your life with a taurus virgo capricorn it may start out very small or it may come off as a friendship or it may just come off as just like you're not really paying attention to this connection um but i do feel like this is also someone that's going to come in to give you a strong emotional offer and i do feel like you may fight this tooth and nail um so that is why um spirit is kind of asking you to kind of surrender a little bit so gems, that was good. Let's look into cancer. All right, cancer. All right, cancer. All right. Okay, at the bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> All right, so Cancer, oh my God. Why is I bringing the High Priestess? So the High Priestess, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, Cancer. Um, what I'm seeing is that a lot of you might be very emotional. You guys also may be tapping into the universe or tapping into metaphys metaphysical things. Um, I do also feel that a lot of you are channeling um, that soft, watery, sensitive, vulnerable side of you and you are possibly healing yourself. Um, so there is a little bit of that. Oh, that's so beautiful to see. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just looking at this. That's really beautiful to see um, because we all need it. Um, I, I just feel like it's, the, the, to have the ability to heal yourself is a beautiful thing. I feel like a, that's a rare um, ability, psychic ability, spiritual ability, um, because as healers, we're always constantly healing and giving to others. Um, but to, the ability to kind of heal yourself um, without having to seek it from other healers is a beautiful thing to watch. So um, I feel like you guys are really tapping into that. Um, you guys are also, uh, as you're healing on the inside, you're also building up, building the exterior, meaning that you're coming off very confident, very strong. People may be admiring you. Um, I also feel like you're trying to work on your physicality. So a lot of you guys might be hitting the gym or you guys might be even doing cosmetic procedures, but I feel like a lot of you are trying to work on the exterior of yourself. Um, it's, it's trying to kind of, uh, match the inside with the outside instead of the outside with the inside. So just, I feel like that is what's happening. Um, I do also feel that a lot of you have been working on your uh, self-esteem as well, um, working on your confidence as well. So it's like if you portray it on the outside, maybe you'll, you'll start to feel it. Um, so I feel like you guys have been doing that. Um, I also feel like you guys are, this is more so when it comes to love, there is going to be an opportunity that's going to be coming in from a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I do feel like this may be someone that makes you very sensitive. Not that, I mean, you said, Cancer, you're always sensitive. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> yeah, okay, you guys are just sensitive creatures, and that's fine. I love that about you guys. Um, 
but I just feel like you guys are very sensitive and I and I feel like this person is going to come in and kind of use that to their advantage. This is someone that you admire in, in some sort of way um, because they 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 come off already confident. This is someone that's very secure in themselves. This is also someone who knows what they want. They go after what they want. So there is a little bit of attraction when it comes to that. And I do also feel like there is um, some sort of desire that's being fulfilled. So if you have been wanting a relationship or you've been really wanting to kind of like just be in, in, in an energy of being just feeling safe, I feel like that is what's happening with this fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sag. <sighs> okay, Cancer. That was just a dreamy. That reading was really dreamy. But um, I feel like there's, there's a fire sign that's going to be a significance to you. All right, let's go into Leo. Leo. At the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. So, Leo, what I'm getting for you this month is Judgment, the Empress, and the Magician. Right off the bat, I feel like someone's lying about their pregnancy. Not saying that they're not pregnant, but I'm just saying that someone may be um, lying about who the person, who the father is. Uh, or how they went, how they went, how they kind of went, I can talk, <laughs> how they went about getting pregnant. So someone may have trapped someone, someone may have, you know, it happens, you guys read about it in the news, but I feel like someone is trapping someone into a commitment or commit or trapping someone into a, a, a cycle that they feel like they're not ready for or they or they don't want to be in. I also feel like someone is being very deceptive. They also may be lying as well. Um, I do also feel like because someone is lying, someone may be possibly trying to avoid someone. Now, someone may be also trying to avoid some sort of paternity test or um, dodging, getting um, served. I'm just seeing a little bit of everything here. Um, Leo, this is, this is, I was not expecting this. <laughs> I was not expecting like, oh Lord Jesus, what's going on, Leo? Um, but I feel like someone is being very manipulative. Um, someone may be possibly milking their pregnancy too. I mean, to, to each their own, but someone can just be very milking their, they're milking their pregnancy. Like they're being extra needy. They're, they're wanting to be doted on. Like someone is just being very extra. But then I also get that someone is using that to their advantage. So someone is just coming off very manipulative. Um, someone may be possibly... Um, being very misleading now if this comes okay aside from that because I'm also getting something else um, I do feel like if someone is showering you with uh, gifts or there's there or either like love bombing you I feel like there seems to be like someone wanting something from you so just be careful with that I just don't like how the magician is here the magician is about someone who's playing tricks someone who is um, very misleading they're watching that matching their, their actions um, this is someone that likes to play games they're not very serious um, this is someone who puts on illusions someone who puts on facades someone who acts one way in public um, behind closed doors is completely new completely uh, different or completely new um, so just be careful with that Leo um, so yeah that, that that was a lot to take in but let's get into um, Virgo oh man and if you would like to book a full session with me um, it will be in the description box as well so Please check that out and also please like this video. Hopefully this is not take me an hour to make because we're already 23 minutes in. Um, okay, Virgo. I see one card. Okay. <laughs> the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. Oh my God, everybody keeps getting the High Priestess. Okay. This is for Virgo. So let's see what we got. You have the Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, and the High Priestess. So 
what I am seeing for you, Virgo, is that there seems to be you guys, um, a lot of you are bosses, just putting it out there. Um, a lot of you can own your own property or just be very well established. Um, a lot of people may be also coming to you for some sort of advice or some sort of opinion. So people may look at you very highly. Um, I'm also getting, um, although the High Priestess card is here, I'm also getting High Priestess vibe. So if you are in some sort of spiritual group, I feel like you're being initiated. Um, into a high priestess or into a mambo or, or a babalao. Um, so I do feel like someone is getting initiated in, in spirit, getting spiritually ranked or ifa, um, whatever the, the spiritual group um, or ideology is, I feel like you're just being ranked. So if you are involved in that or even like in that particular spiritual plane or spiritual um, ideology, I feel like you're being ranked. Um, I also feel that there is a lot of you are doing a lot of deep thinking or soul searching or you guys are trying to understand why things keep happening the way they keep happening in your life. Um, I also feel like a lot of you are also um, coming up with some sort of plan. Now, I don't see plotting or scheming, but I do feel like a lot of you have been trying to set out some sort of goals for yourself and trying to accomplish them. Now, you guys may be possibly being too hard on yourself. It's like the Ten of Wands is here, so it can be like you are biting off more than you can chew or there is some sort of unrealistic or... Um, unrealistic expectations that you may have on yourself or possibly even like the people around you as well um so i do feel like that could be happening like a lot of you can have these these expectations or goals that yes they're just and i'm not trying to say like think small or don't dream big but i just feel like these expectations are just really over the top so someone may be possibly writing these things down in their journal or in their 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 vision boards and it's just like ma'am sir come on now like let's be very realistic and i'm not saying and i don't want and I, when i say that i don't say do not dream big please dream big please go after whatever it is that you feel like you feel like you deserve um but I just feel like you guys might be putting a lot of expectations on yourself. Now, what I'm also getting is that there is um, you guys having to kind of uh, deal with the issues that you may be trying to ignore. Um, because I, I feel like you guys kind of are kind of going through some sort of healing process and trying to kind of reach the abyss of what that feels like and a lot of you are putting a cap or a lot of you are saying no I'm not willing to travel that deep so there is like a little bit of like you coming into some sort of spiritual awakening or some sort of spiritual transformation um I do also feel like you, a lot of you are I'm feeling like a lot of you are just becoming spiritually ranked like you're going from mundane to spiritual being you know going to to sleep to woke that's what I'm getting um for you, uh, Virgo. All right, let's get into Libra. All right, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Oops. All right, Libra. Alright, so I'm on the deck is the Page of Wands. High Priestess is back, y'all. And I'm shuffling. Alright, so you have the Four of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the High Priestess is back. So, what I am getting for you, Libra, because I want to make sure I'm on track. Um, I'm getting that a lot of you are wanting to speak up but i feel like you guys are kind of just thinking about things um i'm seeing a lot of sleeping or th this can be a lot of meditation or this could be like a lot of deep thought um i do feel like you guys are having to speak up for yourselves or kind of or kind of like um <sighs> say whatever it is that you feel is on your mind um i do also feel that there is 
spirit is trying to talk to you or spirit is trying to get you to come to some sort of realization um, or to see something from a higher perspective. I do feel like there is going to be spirit answering something that you may have wished for or prayed for too. So I do feel like spirit is answering you. I do also feel like there is going to be stability for you. So if you've been wanting stability or you're wanting some sort of balance, I do feel like that's going to happen. Now, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten... No, I'm sorry. Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles are here. Uh, which means... All right. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my camera ran out of space. <laughs> um... But I do feel like there is going to be some sort of message or some sort of news that you're going to be receiving from the universe. I do also feel like there's going to be a sense of stability coming in for you, Libra, um, because I am seeing that a lot of you have been paying attention to some sort of details. There also seems to be some sort of calling that you're having as well. The universe is trying to realize that there's a high, that you are meant for something higher, or like a higher calling. Um, I don't know why this gives me virgo vibes too but i feel like a lot of you have are going to realize or that um that you're going to come to some sort of realization that you have not come to your highest but you haven't reached your highest potential so i do feel like there's going to be some like you coming in to like grind harder or to hustle harder so there seems to be like a little grit to your reading like a lot of you have need to kind of make it out of the mud is what i'm getting if if you know what that means <laughs> um if you listen to rap child you know what it means <laughs> um but i just feel that a lot of you are coming to some sort of realization and it's, it's causing you to kind of kind of go harder is what i'm getting for you libra so that that was pretty good let's do scorpio all right scorpio the end of the bottom of the deck is um the devil all right Scorpio so we have the two of cups actually that was came in second sorry you have the two of wands the two of cups and the what is it seven six of pentacles I'm sorry all right okay well what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio, is that there is some sort of decision that you're having to make when it comes to the matter of love. Um, there also seems to be something that you've been putting a lot of time in. Maybe there is a, con a connection that you put a lot of time and energy into, right? It's familiar. You've been with this person for a while. Um, this is something that's comfortable. This is something that you feel is, is stable. Um, I feel like you're, you're at a crossroads whether or not you want to be in that relationship any longer. Um, there is a, a level of toxicity to this relationship, whether you both want to admit it or not. It could be codependency, like you both are very codependent towards each other. Um, it's like you... It's like you both are trying you both are trying to fill a void within each other meaning that let's say um your partner is someone that always that got cheated on or you know someone did them dirty right and you yourself scorpio are you're someone that is very non-committal but because this person is so you know is, is stable or you, a false sense of stability, I should say, because codependency is a false sense of stability. Um, I feel like you're just like, well, I have to stay with this person because I invested so much time with this person. And plus, they're stable. Like, they're always there when I need them. Um, that could be also a good thing and a bad thing because that means that that person's not putting themselves first. Not saying that, not saying that they need to be selfish, but you can't always be there for someone. Like, you need to also have some sort of time or um, space for yourself. Um, but you're Scorpio, you're just like, well, this person's always there. Maybe I should just stay in this relationship. So it, it's like they're fulfilling a void by remaining st stable in your life. And you are creating a void in their life because they see you as their, their ideal man or their ideal 
person that they can settle down with. But both people are in a relationship because each of them are filling each other's voids. So again, it's a sense of codependency. So there is a level of toxicity um, to this, whether you both want to admit that or not. Um, I also see that um, you, the signs that are mainly coming out are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do also feel like there is going to be a, a period where someone it comes to this some sort this realization, and I feel like they're going to decide to walk away from the relationship. Um, so I don't know, Scorpio, you're leaving someone, or if they're leaving you, but someone's coming to some sort of realization that um, this is not okay. Sorry about that, Scorpio. Um, my camera overheated. Um, so like I was saying, uh, we both may be trying to fill the void. I do feel like someone is at some sort of crossroads or has, or th there's a fork in the road. Because I do feel like someone is has come to some sort of realization or some sort of revelation about this. Because I do feel like there seems to be like repeating a cycle over and over again. Um, and I do also feel that um, if you are not in relationships, I, this was strongly, ba this message was probably for someone specific but if you are not in a relationship i do feel like the same applies for you um because there may be possibly someone around you that you're having to let go and it does not have to be romantic in nature um that you're having to let go because you're going to come to sort of some sort of realization that maybe they're a narcissist maybe you're going to come to a relationship really realization that they're um harmful to you emotionally mentally spiritually in some sort of way so that was for you scorpio Let's get into Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. All right, let's see. Oh my God, sorry guys. All right, at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. All right, so we have the Five of Cups, Oop. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. So off the bat, there may be some sort of stress or anxieties. Um, I do also feel like either you are possibly going through some sort of loss or someone around you might be going through some sort of loss. Um, it could be some sort of financial blow or it could be like someone is having some sort of stress or anxieties over their finances. Um, someone may be possibly needing some sort of help but not really saying anything. This can be you as well, but I just feel like someone is not speaking up or someone just may be possibly suffering in silence. This can also feel like um, or be... Um, someone who is in severe credit card debt as well. Um, I do feel like if there if there is a little bit of instability with your finances, I do feel like a new opportunity is going to present itself to stabilize your finances. Um, this is like some sort of reset button or some sort of fresh start that you guys may have been wanting. So I don't feel like you guys should stress too much. Um, even though I tell you not to stress, you guys are going to stress anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Sag Sagittarius, you guys are very impulsive, um, but I just feel like um, you might be stressing out for no reason. Like you might be like having a whole tantrum, or you might be just being very emotional, and crying, and spirit just looking at you all disgusted. Like if you don't get yourself together, <laughs> you're crying about things that the universe knows that they're going to give you already but you don't know that so you're crying having a tantrum and having this full-on emotional breakdown and i just feel like spirits looking at you and just laughing and kind of just looking at you like you're just being a dramatic being a, a dramatic um physical being <laughs> so i feel like you're having to have a little bit more faith when it comes to that now what i'm also seeing is that if you're in a love sense if you are dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn or cancer pisces scorpio i do feel someone is having some sort of regrets someone may feel like they may have missed some sort of opportunity um to put some sort of time and effort like real time and effort into a relationship or a connection 
but they didn't. Um, I also feel like this is also someone that's wanting to give an offer, but I feel like they're just afraid to do so because of a fear of rejection or the, a fear of what the person may say. Even if the person says yes, that is a, a still some sort of form of anxiety for them, even though the answer is yes. So someone just may be overthinking something or someone may be possibly filled with so, so much anxiety. And this might be you, Sagittari Sagittarius. If it's not you, this is someone else around you. But someone may just may be very overly consumed when it comes to um, stress or anxieties. Um, someone may have, I'm getting um, ADHD or someone has a hard time also focusing as well. Um, some of you may also be on, um, or like, pay, I was going to say pain medication, but I'm, I'm not getting pain, pain medication. I'm getting like Adderall or um, volume, like things to kind of like get you to kind of mellow out or to kind of like stay focused. Um, cause I'm seeing a lot of anxieties or stress. Um, I, I do feel like you guys are also having to try to find some sort of a healthy coping mechanism when it comes to that. All right, Satch. Let's get into Capricorn. If you guys like this format, please like this video or please comment below. Um, if this does work out for you guys, I'll more than likely move forward with this particular format. Alright. Capricorn. I just want to make sure I really shuffle. Alright. bottom of the deck so this is going to be the king of cups last card that came out um okay so we have the page of swords the nine of pentacles and the knight of cups all right so what i'm seeing is that uh capricorn you're going to be hearing from someone um it may be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, because I'm getting a lot of water around you, or it may be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you're going to be hearing from someone. Um, I do also feel like this is going to be someone who is a lot more emotionally stable or a, a lot more emotionally available to you as well. I do feel like someone is going to ask you something or they're going to kind of come in to kind of talk or have some sort of news or message for you. This is someone who is stable. This is also someone who could be a little bit of a little bit of what you are sometimes. <laughs> um, very calculative, an overthinker. Um, this is someone that needs to see the numbers. This is not someone who just goes off of what you say. They're very particular. This is, can be also be someone who's very particular with who they date and who they leave around their energy. So this is going to be someone that is um, meticulous, uh, picky, um, or you may be coming off that way. <clears throat> excuse me um but i feel like there is um some sort of love offer there's going to be someone who's going to kind of express themselves they're being very sensitive they're being very vulnerable i do also feel that someone is wanting to kind of, i'm getting word vomit so this is someone that's going to kind of like gush and kind of like ooze how they think and what they feel about you i do feel like someone is going to be very persistent at wanting your attention or wanting to even like wanting you to open up too because you guys can kind of be very stubborn um, when it comes to kind of emotionally opening up because you guys don't really open up to just anyone um, so I do feel like there's going to be a little bit of power struggles when it comes to that but I feel like they're going to emotionally kind of break down your walls um, if you are in a relationship I do feel like a lot of a lot of you who are in relationships are needing to kind of speak up um, towards your partner this can be like you having to kind of express how you're feeling with instead of you being like, well, they should know they're my partner. No, you need to speak up for yourself. You need to kind of articulate things that you feel like, like are very uncomfortable to you or things that you feel like you don't really agree on. But I feel like a lot of you are kind of like, well, we've been together for so long. You should know me. And it's just like, ma'am, we are not mind readers. <laughs> so <laughs> I feel like um, a lot of you are having to kind of speak up for yourselves. <sighs> All right. Let's get into um, Aquarius. Let's do Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Let's see, Aquarius.
Okay, at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so, oh wow, okay. We have the Five of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. All right, so, Aquarius. I feel like um, a lot of you, or this may be someone around you that is around, like someone around you going through this or experiencing this, I feel like a lot of you are kind of suffering. Um, a lot of you are also um, at your wit's end as well. And this can be just more so emotionally. Uh, I just feel like you guys are emotionally drained or tapped out. Or there is a little bit of like you guys are having to kind of uh, pour more into yourself, pour more into your cup. You guys are overextending yourself to people who may be possibly around you. Um, a lot of you may be possibly putting your time and energy into relationships that are no longer serving you. Like, you could be, like, giving, 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 and people are just taking, taking, taking. They're not even replenishing or, or being very reciprocal in the connection that they have with you. Um, so just be careful of that. Um, I do also feel like you guys may be having a lot of power struggles with people either at work or your friends, um, not being able to relate with them as much. Uh, maybe you guys are kind of um, really trying to kind of get yourself emotionally back balanced now i do also feel like there is also an offering coming in from an earth sign so taurus Virgo, capricorn this is more so going into love um i do also feel like someone is having some sort of regrets they're being very nostalgic they're thinking of the past they're having some sort of shoulda coulda woulda or you might be possibly having this um aquarius um, but I feel like a lot of you are kind of like beating yourselves up because of an opportunity that you guys did not take or this is someone that's feeling that towards you. I feel like a new opportunity is going to present itself so don't fret or don't stay in that mood forever. I feel like once you get yourself out of that emotional rut, you'll see, you'll see something was a blessing in disguise. It's like, it's like, um... I'm getting two analogies and I hopefully it makes sense. It's like seeing a rainbow and then wanting to get the, the pot of gold, right? So you're traveling and following the rainbow and see where it leads to that pot of gold. It's like universe just like keep moving, like keep following the rainbow, keep keep walking, keep 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 on the adventure. Um, because a lot of you are stuck are stuck and I also use this analogy with my clients too. Like it's like being in a tunnel and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, but you're just camped in right in the middle of the tunnel. You're just like, nah, I'm tired. Like I yeah, I see it, I see the light, I see freedom, I see it, but I'm and it could be a little, a little bit of like having a pity party, like in the middle of the tunnel. It's just like, man, like I can't even do it. I can't even go. I can't even finish this. I can't even complete this. It's like beating yourself up. It's like you're your blockage. <laughs> Taurus got this in their reading. Maybe you need to like go back and listen to Taurus. And that's why I said you might be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or you just may be acting this way and just taking on Earth-like qualities. Um, you are your biggest critic. You are your biggest blocker. You're your biggest hater. And I feel like once you kind of like get out of being very comfortable in the middle of that tunnel and just keep going i'm getting dory just keep swimming just keep swimming <laughs> just keep swimming 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 like just keep going i feel like you're going to reach the end of the tunnel they're going to see the light they're going to see the blessing you're going to see that new beginning you're going to see some sort of expansion you're going to see some sort of bliss but just get out of that tunnel <laughs> so that's what i'm getting for you aquarius so Pisces, last but not least, Pisces. Let's see, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces. bottom of the deck is the seven of pentacles all right pisces what i'm getting is the queen of cups the knight of pentacles 
and then the hermit okay so what i'm getting for you guys is that i feel like um there is some sort of cycle that is trying to repeat itself. Now, this can be a cycle between you and an earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. I mean, sorry, I'm doing Aquarius. Aquarius is not water. <laughs> but I'm just getting that there is, there is an opportunity coming in. And this is someone that's coming in very slow, very calculated, very meticulous. They're taking their time. This is kind of someone who kind of watches you before they actually go after you. So this is someone that kind of watches their prey before they kind of go after what it is that they want. Um, I do also feel like there's going, some sort of, going to be some sort of cycle with an earth sign. Um, and I do also feel like there's going to be some sort of foundation that's going to be established with an earth sign. And I do feel like when it comes to your money, your money looks really good. I do feel like you're going to be working very hard for your money. I, I do also feel like a lot of you are going to repeat some sort of cycle in your career, meaning that if you were in the position that you were in last year, you're going to kind of um, be in that position again. Um, so I feel like there, there's going to be growth, but it's going to be small, uh, meaning that they may give you more tasks to do, and that's kind of like working, adding to your workload. And they do might give you like an increase in pay, but it's not a promotion is what I'm seeing. So I don't see a promotion just yet or, you know, some sort of ex you excelling any further than where you are now but i feel like the pay will go up um i just feel like there may be possibly testing to see how you deal with that workload before they actually give you that promotion or to give you that title this is very work related um with you aquarius um but i do also feel like a lot of you are, are also trying to get your emotions back balanced um I do also feel like you guys are trying to kind of figure out why things keep happening when they keep happening in your life. You guys might be doing some sort of studying or some sort of research. Whatever you're studying or researching <laughs> takes time. It takes a lot of time. It's paying attention to a lot of details. It's like kind of like... It's like combing with a fine tooth comb. That's what I'm getting. Um... It's like not, not like I'm getting like, oh my God, I don't know, I'm getting this by Martin. No mistakes allowed, Gina. <laughs> no mistakes allowed. So I feel like that is what you are possibly putting on yourself. Or this is maybe possibly something that you are doing to yourself. Or there may be possibly an earth sign that may be coming around you and possibly thinking that way. Like when it comes to you, there's no mistakes allowed. Um, so someone may be possibly overthinking their approach to you. And this is more so in matters of love. Um, I do also feel like you guys have been doing a lot of thinking. Um, I do also feel like you guys have been kind of like putting a lot of time and effort into your finances and, and really trying to figure out additional sources of income coming in for you. And I do feel like additional sources of income is going to come for you, so don't worry too much about that. Um, and I do also feel like there's going to be opportunities coming out loud. I'm seeing, I mean, coming aloud. No, <laughs> many opportunities that are coming for you. I don't know why I said aloud. The reason why I said aloud because my mind is just going all over the place because I'm getting a lot of messages. But the reason I said aloud is because I'm seeing people are, some of you, I can't, I can't even stop saying people. Some of you are going to be motivational speakers, are going to be speaking at conferences, or something about you like speaking aloud or out loud. Um, so I do feel, or even like hosting like um, campaign parties. It doesn't mean about like using your voice or using you to kind of influence the masses or your community, is what I'm seeing. So this is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces. So these are all of the zodiacs. Hopefully you guys like this format. If you like this format, please leave it um, in the comments section or like this video so I know I can do this particular version moving forward. Of course, I will tamp, ugh, I will time step everything down below for you guys. Um, if you'd like to book a full session with me, I won't be taking any clients after October, I mean, until after October 9th. Um, so please book in advance because October is quickly booking up or it's kind of going really fast um so go ahead and check that out in the description box also i do have an online shop if you do want to shop with me uh, i do sell smudge kits um spell books affirmation decks um my personal deck as well um candles anything you can think of it'll be on my website and that'll be in the description box as well if you want to join us over on patreon my tribe uh, my loves um 
that will be linked in the description box as well. We do spell some rituals focusing on self-love, money, and protection. So if you do want to spell a ritual and join that our witchy tribe, um, that is over on my Patreon. Um, I love you guys so much. Um, I'm doing well. Thank you guys for those who have been reaching out to me. Um, I love you guys so much. Please make sure you guys subscribe and you guys like this video and share it. And I will talk to you in my next Zodiac reading. Bye, guys.